Hello friends, in this video tutorial we will discuss about the working of laser security alarm. How the laser security alarm work? First of all, we will see the circuit diagram for the laser security alarm. This is the circuit diagram for the laser security alarm. For designing laser security alarm, we require three registers. First register of 100 ohm resistance, second register which have 6.8 kilo ohm resistance and one is the light dependent resistance. So its resistance decreases when light falls on it and uh, when it is in dark it has very high resistance and a uh, few mega ohms and when light of different intensity fall in it uh, represent different resistances in few hundreds of ohms like uh, 100 ohm, 200 ohms, 300 ohm, 400 ohm like this. So you can uh, see that by the intensity of light by falling light on the LDR its resistance can be changed from very high resistance to very low resistance and this property leads to some interesting application that is the laser security alarm if something comes in between these two on laser and LDR the circuit will respond and that response will be come in the form of LED glowing and uh, uh, in the beeping of buzzer we have used one MOSFET that is a 2N7000 basically it is a trench metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor this is the data sheet for this T MOSFET transistor N channel enhancement type basically in this uh, transistor channel is enhanced this is the uh, pin configuration for this pin number 1 is used for the source pin number 2 for the gate and pin number 3 is the uh, for controlling the for drain. Basically this device is a gate uh, voltage control device. Uh, whatever the voltage we are applying on the gate that will uh, decide the value of drain current. So this device is a voltage controlled current source. So what is the voltage appearing here it will control the flow of this current. This uh, the value of voltage here will vary due to the variation in this LDR. We can check this by simple calculation. Suppose this is the 9 volt battery and I have two resistances. This resistance is the value of 6.8 kilo ohm and uh, I am giving it as name R1 and this is the R sorry R2 and it's R1 the voltage across this resistance will be V1 and across this it will be V2 and the sum of V1 plus V2 uh, will be equal to 9 volt now if I want to calculate the voltage across this resistor R1 then I can uh, calculate this using voltage division rule that is V1 is equal to the resistance across which we want to calculate the voltage that is R1 upon the total resistance that is R1 plus R2 into the supply voltage and the voltage that is the total voltage actually that is the 9 voltage. So here you can see that the V1 is directly proportional to R1. If R1 increases V1 increases and vice versa. So uh, this resistance will control the variation of the voltage basically this is the gate voltage and gate voltage control the flow of drain current you can also see this in the characteristic that are given in the return data sheet of this 2N7000 transistor here this is the gate to source voltage and this gate to source voltage as we increase you can see that for the increased VGS the drain current is increasing this is the drain current so for 3 volt you can see this is the approx point uh, 1 ampere and for 4 volt is approx uh, approx 0.2 volt uh, 0.2 ampere and uh, as we increases its current is increasing if you see at uh, uh, 8 volt you can see it's 1.1 uh, 1 .1 ampere approx so this is uh, you can see that as we are increasing the value of VGS the drain current is increasing okay so actually we have to uh, see the value of V1 actually here the voltage available V1 so actually we have to find out the value of V1 what is the value of V1 when LDR 
isn't dark or what is the value of v1 when some light is fall on the ldr basically here we are using laser so some high intensity light will fall on ldr then the circuit will work so we have to see this one so now consider first case when no light is fall on this LDR when light is not fall on this LDR it says high resistance we can see this actually this is the circuit for this laser security alarm system we have implemented this on PCB and uh, we have done soldering you can see this video on our website so this is the LDR basically so when I have not fall any laser light here in that case you can check the resistance the value of resistance what is the value actually in this case the value is little bit high so we can check just by putting here I am just putting on these terminals so you can find the resistance I have set this multimeter on the resistance so in this case you can see the resistance is coming 0 0.021 actually I have set on the mega ohm so you can say 0 0.021 mega ohm so it is R1 is equal to this is the resistance R1 is equal to 0 0.021 mega ohm which is equal to 0 0.021 into 10 to the power 6 ohm which is equal to 21 kilo ohm you can say this is the 21 kilo ohm resistance when no laser light is fall on this LDR so this is the 21 in this case we can calculate the value of V1 so V1 will be equal to R1 that is the 21 upon 21 plus R2 R2 is 6.8 kilo ohm into 9 it comes to we can calculate this so it comes to 21 upon 21 plus 6.8 which is equal to 0.75 into 9 volt so it comes approximately 6.8 volt it is 6.8 volt okay this is the first case so here 6.8 volt will be available so from the characteristic you can see that when 6 volt or 7 volt is available then some current flowing uh, approximately 0.7 ampere so this transistor when it gets on turn on and the buzzer start beeping and LED will start glowing because uh, for uh, glowing LED uh, basically it is a light emitting diode its positive terminals will be connected to the positive of the battery and the negative terminals will be connected to the negative of the battery and in first case the transistor is on so this negative terminal is connected to the battery and the positive terminal is already connected to the so this uh, LED will glow and both things buzzer and LED are connected in the parallel so the buzzer will also be here we have used 100 ohm resistance to protect this LED from uh, flowing of excessive current so I think case 1 is clear and now I take second case if light is fall on the laser in that case what will be the resistance so I am considering case second so in this case let's see the value of R1 because in this case the resistance will be uh, low so I am setting it on some low range so if you can see the resistance is approx because uh, light intensity is varying therefore it is approx 0.5 you can get 0.5 0.6 0.6 kilo ohm. we can consider 0.6 kilo ohm. so I am calculating the voltage considering 0.6 kilo ohm. okay so the now V1 is equal to R1 is in this case 0.6 kilo ohm upon 0.6 plus R2 is 6.8 into 9 volt which comes 0.6 divided by 0.6 plus 0.8 it comes to 0.81 into 9 
Now what is comes 0.729 approx 0.729 29 volt and to turn on this transistor from the data city you can see that the voltage should be in the range of 3 volt after that the current will flow in this transistor but here we are getting 0.729 volt so the transistor will be in off state when this transistor will off no current will flow here so you can see that uh, this negative terminal in this case will not connect it to this terminal of the battery so in this case LED will not glow and buzzer will not be so now you can see the demonstration of the circuit how it is working I have explained using diagram now you can demonstrate this initially you are seeing that it is beeping because in first case voltage level 6.8 volt and ID is uh, flowing Therefore, the LED is glowing and beep is beeping buzzer. Now, if I take laser and I fall light on LDR, then you can see the LED is off and buzzer also is not beeping. You can see. I think it's uh, working is clear. Uh, you can understand in this way. We have used this particular transistor in this case because uh, uh, we need because a normal transistor you know that at 0.7 volt is start conducting. So we have used this particular transistor because uh, it is starting conducting at point, uh, 3 volt. You know so we have used this transistor. So if you have any query you can comment. You can ask. If you like this video then please share this. Thank you.